So, um, the motor that we did earlier, this is my current, hopefully high horsepower build. Um, we're going to put the S360 turbo on it. Anyway, um, we, I got it fired up, and it fired up quite nicely, relatively, for, you know, new motor. But it was smoking. It wasn't running quite right. Well, as it turns out, um, somehow I managed to have it 180 degrees out. So, 360 degrees of crank rotation, or 180 degrees of cam rotation. Not entirely sure how I managed to do that, but I uh, put my finger over the glow plug hole, cranked the engine over by hand as I'm feeling for air coming out, stopping on top dead center on uh, when the, the mark lines up at top dead center just after I had been feeling air coming out, which means it's under compression. So that would be at top dead center firing stroke at which point the um what you're supposed to have is the pin at the four o'clock position so probably right about here and the opposite two bolts would make a line straight across after rotating it almost 180 degrees in order to make that happen it started up a bit more smoky advanced with a tooth because, you know, it's close, but it's not perfect. Advanced at a tooth, and hey, it fired. And fired decently. So I got it, got it tuned in from there. So let's fire this engine up. Little ether. Love ether. Our power. And... Smoking like a pig, as you might expect. It's an IDI. But hey, threw it together. She runs. The starter is. I'm still not sure what. It came off of an IDI, but it's definitely not an IDI starter. But hey, fires right up. It runs. Um, interesting thing this has 12 teeth. The stock starter that I pulled off because it didn't run, it didn't work. This guy here. This is one of your standard stock starters. This has 13 teeth. Either way, it engages nicely. I've never had any grinding with it. So, uh, cool. Hopefully, you're going to see it next in the truck itself, which hopefully is going to happen in the next couple days. And I'm going to take this thing to Harding for horsepower.